Before moving to today's video, can you tell which characteristics of vertebrates make them apart from other animals or invertebrates? What are differences between reptiles and amphibians? How mammals are different from other vertebrates? What are main characteristics of fish and birds? So let's move to today's topic and together we will learn how vertebrates are different from invertebrates, classification of vertebrates and their characteristics. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone or spinal column which is made up of vertebrae. They are divided into five main groups, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Fish are cold-blooded aquatic animals that have gills for breathing and fins for swimming. They are the first group of vertebrates to evolve. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals that can live both on land and in water. They have moist skin and typically undergo metamorphosis from a larval stage to an adult stage. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that have scaly skin and can be found on land and in water. They include turtles, lizards, snakes and crocodilians. Birds are warm-blooded animals that have feathers, beaks and wings. They are capable of flight and have a high metabolic rate. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that have hair or fur and typically give birth to live young. They include primates, ungulates, carnivores, rodents and cetaceans. Vertebrates share several key characteristics that set them apart from other animal groups. Backbone or spinal column, they have nervous system, skeletal system, circulatory system, muscular system, respiration system and they are also endothermic. Spinal column of vertebrates made up of vertebrae which provides support and protection for the nervous system of vertebrates. Vertebrates have well-developed nervous system that includes a brain and a spinal cord and this system allows them to respond to their environment and provides them sensory capabilities. Vertebrates also have a circulatory system that includes a heart which pumps blood throughout the body, providing oxygen and nutrients to the cells and removing waste products. Vertebrates have a skeletal system made up of bones and joints which provides support and protection for the body and allows for movement. Vertebrates have a muscular system made up of muscles and tendons which allows them to move their bodies and perform various tasks. Vertebrates also have a respiratory system that allows them to take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The respiratory system varies among different groups of vertebrates such as fish have gills, amphibians have lungs and gills, whereas reptiles, birds and mammals have lungs. Vertebrates have a reproductive system that allows them to produce offspring. Vertebrates are endodermic which means they can control their internal body temperature. This allows them to survive in a wide range of temperatures and environments. That's all of today's topic. Stay tuned for more learning videos. Thanks for watching.